Good morning, I'm Meiji from Frank Power Oilers. We have many new friends in the group, so I would just like to do a short video on the basic ways that you can use essential oils. Uh, just a quick recap. Essential oils are aromatic liquids that's usually distilled from plants. So the plants could be from uh, the leaf, from the stems, the roots, the flowers. Okay, then some oils are actually cold pressed. So they are actually from the skin of the fruit, example, the citrus oils, or they are resin tapped, for example, frankincense. Okay, so these um, the aromatic liquids, they are protectors in the plants. And in us, the humans, we use it to support almost all our body systems. We use it to uh, improve connectivity with our spirituality. We also use it in foods or recipes, as well as for beauty. So, how, how do we actually start using essential oils? The German way, they will use it uh, via inhalation, and this is through aromatherapy. So what they do, well, you can use this, pour this 10 to 15 cm from your palm. Do not touch the bottle tip to avoid contamination. You can turn it on your palm three times clockwise just to bless the oil. Okay. You do not have to do this if you do not want to. It just works as, uh, as well if you don't do that. But some people do this as a practice. Okay. And you cup it over your nose and you inhale it deep. So the smell actually exert a very strong effect on the brain. The brain will actually have uh, the hypothalamus, which is the hormone control center, as well as the limbic system, which is actually a primitive brain that actually controls our emotions. So when we smell it, the smell immediately reacts with the limbic system and some, it will actually uh, remove certain stuck emotions that is at the back of your brain. So example, I was using uh, an oil called Clarity last time and then when I closed my eyes and thought about a certain issue, a childhood memory came up for me to release it. So you can use any oil that you want, something that you like, um, and think about the issue that you have on hand and see what happens when you allow your mind to tell you. Okay, for the French and English way, they do applications, direct application to body. French typically use it neat. It means that they don't use any um, carrier oils to dilute it. For the English, they usually use it with a carrier oil to massage all over the body. So, uh, if you recall, a carrier oil is actually any fatty substance as natural that you use to help to reduce any discomfort um, from the essential oils which may be hot because it reduces, it slows down the entry of the molecules into the body. It does not mean the total amount is reduced, it just means the speed is reduced because the essential oils have to ping pong through larger carrier oil molecules. So what you can use, uh, example, almond oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, okay, and um, or coconut oil. You do not want to use synthetic oils like a petrolatum jelly. Use good quality carrier oils because you do not want to negate the effects of using quality essential oils, right? And then you use a poor quality carrier oil. So it doesn't make sense that way. For me, I typically use V6, which is a vegetable oil complex that is already pre-mixed. Um, pre it's a vegetable oil that you can use to dilute hot oils to apply to the body. So for children or for anybody who is new to essential oils or if the oil is hot right, you can follow the dilution ratios that is provided in references. Or for me, a convenient way is I will just pour the V6, I rub over the body, 
part that I want to apply to and then I maybe drop one drop of the oil and then put it rub it over the area so it's up to you some people will do it in a dilution in smaller roller bottles it's many many ways of using so it's really up to you okay our favorite question now is where do we apply the oils there are so many body parts where do we apply it it really really depends on what you want to achieve so example if you just want to ease some stomach discomfort you may want to rub it over your abdomen or if you have some uh, knee or joint issues you just want to give it some help okay you can rub over that paper, that part so for that you may be more direct and helpful to apply over the area but typically if uh, for new users you may just want to test a bit on the fore or arm um, these sensitive areas just to make sure that you don't react badly to the oil okay you can also use dilution to apply a little bit of the oil just to check say if you react to the oil leave it for a while then you come back and retest to see if really it really is suitable for you if it's not then you choose another oil that works the palms and the soles of the feet they are actually um, very safe areas to apply for starters because the skin is really thicker on these areas and if you check this uh, essential oil pocket reference they actually give you the food chart it can show you that the soles they contain all the body system is actually reflective in the soles similarly For the palms as well okay so these are very useful areas especially when you can't access that particular body part and our spine is particularly important too because the spine is also connected to many organ systems I'm not sure if you know actually our ear as well has all the body parts systems is reflected in the ear as too. So sometimes after I inhale the oil, if there's any more balance, right, I will just rub it over my ears just to give my ear a little massage. Okay, so if you want to use an oil just like a fragrance, you don't want to use artificial perfumes, then you just apply to perfume points. Okay, apply it to the points, apply it to the behind the ears. If you have any balance, you may inhale it. So if you want to give children a little help or anyone who needs help with the respiratory system, you can apply over the chest or just rub over the spine because the spine is a reflect, a reflex area as well for entire body. For headaches, I like to use um, peppermint, right? Okay. Apply it to the temples. I will apply it at the back of my neck. I will inhale the balance. Say I want to improve uh, connectivity with my spiritual self I can use frankincense apply to the third eye I can apply to the crown chakra because these two points are very uh, important for spirituality okay then of course if you have to be careful with the oil that you use uh, and your skin sensitivity if you know the oil is hot example thieves oil which has cloves then you would want to dilute it first with v6 before you apply it to the chest then it makes it less uncomfortable for you okay and one thing to note is we do not apply essential oils to internal body orifice so example, the nostrils, 
ears, uh, eyes, you know, inside the eyes, no, it's not, no, no, and um, or the genital areas will avoid it. Okay, so even for face, I will I recommend that you dilute it with a cream before you apply it to the area. Okay, if you just want to do around the area, you dab very lightly outside, not inside. Okay, so example, if any oil accidentally gets in your eye, right, do not wash with water. You can use V6 to wash it out because the oil and water, they don't mix. It may, we make it worse by using water to wash the oil out of the, the eye. Okay, so I think that's all I have in terms of application. I'll be covering another part on diffusion in a while. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.